I created the best skibbity toilet game here at Brookhaven. In addition to recreating several famous scenes from skibbity toilet videos on YouTube. So if you want to see it all, like these videos and subscribe to the channel in less than 3 seconds. 3, 2, 1, that's it. Now you're ready to watch. One of the most watched videos of the skibbity toilet is precisely this one, which features a meeting with the head of the skibbity and several other bizarre toilets. So I'm going to try to recreate this scene inside Brookhaven. And the first thing I'm going to put in the skibbity boss, which is certainly one of the most important parts of this video that we're recreating. I need to increase its size a little because it is very small. And now I need to get several other skibbities to be part of this sinister gathering. I'm going to put several of these little skibbities on this side here. I'm also going to put some other different toilets here. For example, the spider skibbity. Look, it's already starting to look like the original video. And as you can see, in the video there are some cameramen on top of this building watching the meeting. And to recreate this scene, I'm going to put several cameramen on top of Brookhaven's grocery store. I'm going to put several of them here because we don't know exactly how many were watching that meeting, right? And now we need to create this laser beam that will fall from the sky to eliminate all skibbity toilets. To do this, I'm going to use this satellite. I just need to make some tweaks to it so that it points downwards and aims exactly at the head of the skibbity boss. And now I'm going to put this laser here to make it look like the satellite is really attacking the toilets. And look, this scene was exactly like the video we saw just now. Another very famous video is the one where the Titan camera head battle against this bizarre skibbity that seems to be two toilets stuck together. But in fact, there are three. Very bizarre. And to recreate this scene, I've already separated a titanium camera head here that I think I'm going to place exactly in this location. Let's increase the size of it a little bit and put those three bizarre skibbies right here. I'm going to reduce their size because they are not that big, right? But in addition to having put the skibbies and the Titan cameraman, I think I have to modify the scenario around the battle to be the same as the video. And to do that I have to replace the Brookhaven stores with giant buildings. Look, that's what I was talking about. At the beginning of this same video, there are three cameramen calmly on top of the building and the Titan cameraman steps on a small skibbity, exploding it. So I'm going to put some cameramen on top of this building. And under the Titan's foot, I'm going to put some fire like he just blew something up. I'm not going to lie to you. This scene is identical to the Skibbity Toilet video, right? In one of the most recent Skibbity Toilet videos, a new ally of the cameraman appears, the mutant TV head. He is very cool and his power is to confuse all Skibbities using light beams and sound effects. And to recreate this scene, it's obvious that we need the mutant TV head, which luckily, I already found here in the studio. I'll also put some normal TV heads here, and the cameraman here, because in case you didn't know, he's the one who took that lens that the TV head handed over. I'll also put some skibbities here to make the scene as similar as possible to the original video. I'm going to put several small skibbities here, and also a bit of fire, to give the impression that the toilets are exploding, just like in the video. And I'm also going to put a ray of light coming out of the TV to be the mutant TV attack. I'm going to make the light beam even stronger. And I'm also going to put it on all the other screens in the mutant TV head. And that's it. That's how this scene with the mutant TV head attacking with beams of light and the skibbities exploding themselves. Another super famous video is this one, in which a cameraman defeats several skibbities in sequence and a super mutant skibbity attacks the cameraman, but he is saved by a speaker head. And to recreate this scene, I'm going to have to create a mutant skibbity since there are aren't any ready here in Roblox Studio. And to do that, I'm going to select the Skibbity's head and duplicate it several times until it forms our mutant. Okay, he's got three heads now. I'm just going to put two more behind him here so he has five heads like the Skibbity in the video. Now I'm going to put this speaker head behind the Skibbity so that it flushes this weird mutant. Now just put a cameraman here in front. And also several empty toilets because it was the Skibbities that the cameraman defeated before being attacked by the mutant. This scene is is simpler than the others we've done, but it's also extremely similar to the video we used as a reference. Isn't that right? A video that I think is really cool is this one, where the crazy scientist from the Skibbity Toilets manages to invade and dominate the Soundhead Titan. To recreate this scene, I'm going to use this Brookhaven location. Let's put our Titan Soundhead here and increase its size a lot. Now I have to leave it here with my back to this building because this is exactly where our evil scientist will be. And to create the scientist, 
I'm going to use a regular skivity. I'm going to delete his head and put this elderly head in place. In addition to using that scorpion tail as if it were that machine that a scientist has in his head. You know? I'm also going to put in these two little spider skibites because they're the ones that are going to infect the giant sound head. And now I'm going to put that skivity soldier who fights the titan to distract him while the scientist executes his evil plan. Let's put some fire here in this scene because there's a battle going on right? And I'm also going to put several speaker man here on the street to battle the small skibites that are on the ground. And with all these scenes that we created, our Brookhaven was completely different and destroyed. So it's time for us to see if all the modifications we made are working correctly. Okay, I just entered Skibbity Haven here, and as you can see, there's something weird going on here. Because these skibites are randomly floating around Brookhaven, that's not supposed to happen right? The first thing I want to see is precisely this scene here that we did at the meeting. As you can see, I think something went wrong because the laser is no longer up there. But ignoring that, this scene here really looks a lot like the original scene. And for some reason, our cameramen who are up here controlling the laser beam just decided to line up. I think they're getting ready to see who's going to be the first to be devoured by the skibais down there. Another very famous scene that we did here was precisely the fight between the cameraman titan against these three bizarre animals here. But, as you can see, our cameraman is a little bugged in these buildings. It looks like he wants to climb this building and escape the fight. That doesn't make sense. He would easily defeat those three bizarre skibites. Wouldn't he? Behind Brookhaven School, I put this mutant TV head scene here against the Skibites. And bro, maybe this is the best scene we did. It really looks like the mutant TV is using powers against the Skibites because of this beam of light that we put in here. Plus having the fire near the Skibites that makes it look like they are blowing themselves up. It really looks identical to the original video, doesn't it? And of course, we can't forget about this scene here either, which is when the sound head titan is overpowered by the mad scientist. As you can see, this seems to be just another normal scene that we created. But if you look at Brookhaven Road, you will see that that something strange is happening. Several of the sound men I had placed here were defeated, and the ones that were left were overpowered by spider skibites, causing them to become enemies. I just don't understand why they keep disappearing and appearing. I'm pretty sure this isn't normal. Here on top of the building I put that scientist, but I don't think he's doing very well. He's all broken and buggy. It looks like his own claw grabbed him by the head and made him look weird like that. But even with these problems, this scene turned out really cool. And the sound man being dominated without us having planned it made this scene even better than we were expecting. Right? And last, but not least, we have the mutant skivity scene here. And as you can see, the mutant is still standing and exactly the same as we put it. And that's already great news. Bro! The cameraman we put here jumps when we walk through it. Bizarre look. It looks like he's going to fly out of nowhere. Will it be that if I jump a lot it will really fly? Go! Go! Fly my friend! And guys, this is how Skibbity Haven looks like after all the changes we've made. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like this other video on the screen. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any more Brookhaven videos. See you in the next video. Bye!